One of the reasons why I like Fishing Mission Bay is that you can pretty much pull up anywhere that there's sand, back right in, and unload your kayak. So that gives you access to a lot of different places in the bay. A really big tide push right now. Tide is flooding into the bay. It'll be high by 940. So what's going on is a lot of cold water is coming into the bay. So I'm gonna fish towards the back, hopefully to get into some of the warmer water. Maybe the fish will be more active in that warmer water opposed to the cold. So right now I'm gonna do a drift with the tide, hopefully find some biting fish. Hopefully we get a lot of bites this morning. There we go. Got one that time, stuck him good. All right, nice spotty. Spotty on the swim jig. <laughs> so low and slow, creeping this bait along the bottom. And that was two bites. Got that one fish to stick. Good to get a little spotty this morning. And I think that's what's going on here is the fish are low and slow in the water column. I did find some 64 degree water, so I went up from 55 to 64. But it, it's that fall weather type of vibe out here. And so far I've been throwing a lot of moving baits and I haven't got that many bites. So threw down that swim jig, fishing low and slow off the bottom. Two bites, one fish. Here we go. Got an A-rig bite. Small guy. Small guy, but committed to it. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Little spotty, A-rig. That's great to get one on the A-rig there. The A-rig is a great search bait during these colder fall days. I mean, we're gonna creep up on winter here pretty soon, but definitely during the fall days. And I have it set up a little differently today. I'm running that five arm. I do have the two willow blades running out the top. And since it is going high tide, I have this set up with two 3 8 ounce on the bottom. And in the middle, I have it set up with a quarter ounce and I'm running all underspins right here. So I am using that flash, that vibration. I'm still trying to get those fish to react to a bait fish presentation. Let's keep with it. Hopefully we can snag a couple more. All right, slowly working that A-rig in some of these different zones. Another small one, but we are working the A-rig here. Just trying to get some bites. I mean, it is, uh, again, I'll mention it, it's, it's fall time. So spotted bay bass are the hardest to catch during the fall and winter months. Really easy to catch during the summer months. That little fish, little spotty, he was less than 10 inches. He went for the full bait fish presentation. He threw this giant thing and it looks like it can be too much, but really it looks like a school of bait fish and those spotties concentrate on one bait. The goal is always to get more than one, but sometimes one is good enough. All right guys, got another one. I'm finding them in a little bit deeper water. I'm like in 13, 14 feet. So I don't really, I don't really fish deeper in high tide. I usually fish shallower on the higher tide, but there we go. This is uh, nicer than the last two. Not as big as the first one. But there we go. Definitely a nicer fish, so I might concentrate in this area a bit more. Run some of the other baits in here and see if we can't get some more bites. One really cool thing about fishing in the fall and winter time, there's not one other person out here. I'm not talking about fishermen. I'm talking about there's not one ski boat, not one jet skier. There were some of those crew paddle boat guys out here earlier. So you still have to look out for those things, but it is empty out here. It is super empty. That's one, that's one really cool thing about, about, ooh, that was a bite. That's one really cool thing about fishing Mission Bay in the, in the colder months. Get the place to yourself. Even though the bite is more difficult in the colder months, you can come out and explore different areas you may not be able to fish during those busy summer times. <laughs> so get out here and go fishing.
There we go. That was a good bite. That was a nice bite. So again, I'm in that deeper water right now, 13, 14 feet. So I caught those few fish in the deeper water. Now I'm making some cast out here and I'm actually getting bites and got another fish. Nice bite, nice bite on that war rig. I kind of looked around at some other stuff for a couple minutes and uh, it wasn't biting. This is biting. <laughs> well, I don't want to say it's biting. I, I don't want to say exactly biting, but catching. We're catching a couple fish and that is a great thing. Especially, you know, with this, with what's going on. You know, look at this, flat calm, no wind, which is good, it's fun that way, but it's always difficult to find these fish in the winter time months colder time months so when you do get on them man it's it's really good i also want to mention that i did put down an eva deck and it's making the kayak much more quiet when things hit it which is what i wanted and it has grip all the way around it now so you guys that don't fish the hobies uh, this hatch sits a little bit higher than the rest of the deck and i wanted to get the deck somewhat even with the hatch so that when my feet are planted on both surfaces it feels a little bit more flat so I'm really liking the deck it's a kind of a cheap Amazon uh, rollout mat and then I just trimmed it to to what I needed I'll put that link in the description along with the other baits that we're fishing right now and we got some new hats and apparel over at warbaits.com so if you guys need a new lid check that out we got some new ones there there's a there's probably about five five new hats on the website really good to get some new lids there we go guys got a taker a rig bite What's up? A rig is still working. That one came out pretty easy. Nice. Good to get another bite. Just fishing that A rig pretty low in the water column. I'm just skimming that eelgrass. When I cast out, I count down to about 10. And at about 11, I know that this bait is going to hit the bottom. So I put it in gear at 10 and start winding and then keep it right at that water column level, right above the eelgrass. Look for those bites. Dude, good, good, good bite right there. Fishing that swim jig through the grass. Man, that thing looks so sick. Unfortunately, I don't have my camera, underwater camera, but it looks so good. Look at this thing. Just kind of swimming it through that eelgrass. Nice one. Whoa! Nice one right there. Good, good, good. Tide is super high. Water is pretty green. Seems like a good time to fish near the bottom with a swim jig. War baits half ounce swim jig in gill color. Gill is a new color that we've been developing. We're really trying to get very close to mimicking the sunfish in the freshwater world. So we have gill and we have pumpkin seed, very good looking panfish imitators for freshwater bass, but spotted bay bass love these colors. That's why you'll see me fishing a crossover of both types of jigs in fresh and salt. There we go. Always a good thing to get one. <laughs> Especially on that cast and wine, a rig stuff. All right. Easy out. Nice one. Been searching around a little bit. It's still the same story. It's uh, hit and miss everywhere you go. 
once you get one, it kind of tells the story what's going on. Just hoping there's more in that area. Yeah, nice little halibut, guys. Not a legal one, but good to get one. Got them on the rig. Pulled hard. I like the way they pull. There he goes. Get this dude in the water. That's a halibut right there. Really good bite. I like the way halibut pull. They're so flat that they have so much surface on the water that they could pull pretty hard. I hope you guys enjoyed this session out here in Mission Bay. It's always good to come out, see what the bite is doing, what the bass is doing, what the bay is doing. Thanks for all the support you're giving War Baits and this channel. We are growing and it's because of you. The online store is busy daily. We have all this stuff, including the hats, on our online store. We have some really exciting things happening for 2024. So you guys be on the lookout for that. Check the website. We're gonna have an update over there that you guys are gonna really enjoy. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below and we'll get back to those. And as always, get out there, go fishing, hook that giant.